like looking at old cookbooks. And I have one that's dated 1970. It's a small one, and it's a paper uh, cookbook. Probably one of those that maybe they sold it in a supermarket. I don't know. Uh, I don't even know where I got it, yard sale or something. But in it, there was a recipe for a chocolate mint truffle that I thought was cool. And so I'm going to make it for you today. So what we need is four cups of flour, of, excuse me, sugar, and one and a half cups of evaporated milk or a 12 ounce can, a little bit of salt, 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, a little bit of peppermint extract, trying to get the real stuff, and a seven ounce jar of fluff. So in my pan, which is heating up, I'm gonna put in the milk, a little sizzle there. And I'm going to put the sugar, all of it, it's a lot of sugar. It says pinch of salt, so that's what we're gonna use, a pinch of salt. And now we're going to cook this until the sugar dissolves and then we're gonna bring it to a boil and let it boil for about five minutes. So let's just mix this up. Okay, so now while that's heating up, because you're gonna to have to stir constantly once it gets warm. You don't want this to get scorched on the bottom. I'm going to add to my chocolate half a teaspoon of the pure peppermint extract and the marshmallows. So again, this is a seven ounce jar. I like things that are made with chocolate, I mean with peanut butter and marshmallow. But boy, do I hate working with it because it's so sticky and it gets all over everything and it's a pain in the neck to clean up. So here we go again. Get all this marshmallow off, as much as I can anyway. All right, now all we have to do is really wait for this to start boiling and then keep mixing it for the full five minutes that it's at a boil. Doesn't have to be a roaring boil, but you know, bubbling. So, about five minutes. Our mixture is really boiling, and uh, by the time I take it off, it's been going for a little while now. So, I'm going to take it and put it right over the chocolate. these together. It looks like a big gloppy mess right now. And I've got a pan here which I'm going to pour this mixture into the pan. I could leave it in this bowl and put it in the refrigerator to cool because what you want to do now is really let this cool down so that it gets to be you know, that you can pick it up and form it into balls. Um, but it'll do it faster if I have it in a shallow bowl because it's thinner. So let's just finish. And then later after we 
refrigerate this for a few hours. Uh, let me see. Yes. A few hours in the refrigerator, probably four or five hours again. Then we'll roll it into balls and then we'll roll it into chocolate sprinkles. Or you can put it into, you could roll it into nuts if you wanted to. Or you could, if you had some finely chopped peppermint candy, because these are mint, you could do that. Okay. I'm gonna switch over to my spatula, make sure I got everything off the bottom. Which it feels like I do. Okay. Into the pan. It's a heavy bowl. And this will have to be covered up, otherwise, like a pudding, you'll get a skin on the top. So. I'll leave it at room temperature for about 10 or 15 minutes because it's really screaming hot right now. So then I will put the plastic wrap over it and put it in the refrigerator. And then I'll bring it back once it's set and I'll show you how to form them. It's been about two and a half hours that the chocolate mint truffles have been in the refrigerator. And so now I'm going to start forming them by taking a ooh, generous teaspoon shaping it into a ball. And I'm choosing to roll them in chocolate sprinkles. And then what you can do is just take them, put them in a little cup. Be a great way to serve them. Can these be frozen? <clears throat> these will keep in your refrigerator once they're put together like that for about a week. Can they be frozen? Yes. Uh, very tightly sealed container. If you have a vacuum sealer that you can remove a lot of the um, air out of it, it's even better. And you can freeze these probably for about two to three months. Now another way, if you're, you know, you can always have a nice little candy dish handy and put them in the candy dish and fill that up. But another way is if you're giving them, is you can get these in a party store, online or wherever. They're, they're plastic, little, they, they come folded. And I'm getting chocolate all over it, so just bear with me. Uh, I wouldn't do this this way. And they have a little sleeve that slides out. See? Oh, I've got two of them in there. So what you could do is you could put your truffles in there, you know, a whole bunch of them. And you could put them in a little box, and then you could put a ribbon around it, and you'd have a nice gift to give someone. It's just some ideas, but you want to keep these refrigerated at all times because otherwise they're going to get really, really soft. So there are our chocolate mint truffles from, a, from an old cookbook from 1970. I hope you try them. I hope you enjoy them.